A couple weeks ago, when the Brooklyn Nets hired Steve Nash, I was put in a precarious situation. Steve Nash is my favorite basketball player of all time. I grew up watching Steve Nash dominating the West with the Phoenix Suns. And even though they didn't win an NBA championship, they changed the NBA. And their impact and their change is felt even now. The pick and roll, seven seconds or less, Mike D'Antoni system that Steve Nash flourished in, won two MVPs back to back in, was really such a joyous time in basketball. This was happening during the era of ISO basketball. You had Kobe and you had T-Mac and you had rookie LeBron. ISO basketball with AI. That was really the name of the game. Then Steve Nash came along with Amari Stoudemire, Raja Bell, Leandro Barboza. These guys made an impenetrable impact on the game. That is still being felt today. And despite the fact that there is no, there's a lack of hardware, they should at least have one championship, but they let their emotions get the best of them. They will always be remembered in my heart and basketball fans' memories. But I saw Steve Nash get hired by my quote unquote rival team, the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I was put in a tough situation. Should I still support the Knicks? Or should I go and support the Brooklyn Nets since they hired Steve Nash, my favorite player? Because I want to see Steve Nash do well. Well, it took me some time, but I'm ready to give you an answer. That answer... It's tough. That answer is clear. I have officially been able to see the weakness in the Brooklyn Nets because I'm not going anywhere. I'm a New York Nick till I die. I'm not going anywhere. Steve Nash, you can kick the rocks. You can kick the bucket for all I care. Because I'm with the Knicks no matter what. And you will fail with the Brooklyn Nets. Because nobody's taking my team down. Nobody. I'm New York all the way. So Steve Nash, get your little suit on. Get to the court. Go coach your team. Go tell Kevin Durant. Go tell Kyrie Irving to suit up. Because the Knicks, we ready. We ready. And when we get LaMelo Ball, it's over. We're going to beat you again and again and again and again. Because the orange and blue will always reign supreme over you. Now, now that I'm calm, I want to get back to Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith, you didn't apologize. You didn't, you weren't held accountable, even though I held you accountable for the disgusting blasphemy that you put out there on ESPN, the liberal network. You did not apologize and come forth with a with a with an apology. You see, during that draft a couple years ago, you did not want. And I repeat, you did not want Donovan Mitchell. You wanted Dennis Smith Jr. You wanted Malik Monk. Now I know you didn't want Frank Nilakina. But you wanted Dennis Smith Jr., Malik Monk, Zach Collins. I have it on tape. So, Stephen A. Smith, because you didn't apologize, it's a war. And I'm coming for you. And I won't stop 
until you are held accountable. Now, another thing. The world's been wondering about my Tom Thibodeau song. Well, I didn't write Tom Thibodeau's song for tonight's occasion, but one thing I do have is this. I have the acapella and the freestyle ability like no other. So Tom Thibodeau, when you hold me like this, when you win games like that, it was hard to resist, but it's all coming back to me. It's hard to resist, but the championship is coming back to New York. One more time, Tom Thibodeau. When you coach them like that, and you coach them like this, it's so hard to resist, because we know New York's got the chip. It's hard to resist, because we know that New York's got the chip. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, on this last portion of the super video, it's time to answer the final question. Should we go for Chris Paul? Should we have a Chris Paul train? The answer, in my opinion, is no. I don't want Chris Paul and his wokity babble. Let him stay on OKC. Let him go to Milwaukee. We're not a contending team, so we don't need Chris Paul. What we need to do is develop. And I want to keep Kevin Knox, Frank Nelikina, and I want to keep all our young pieces. I want to keep Julius Randle, and I want to give Frank, and I want to give Tom Thibodeau a chance to build on this team. So the answer to that, Chris Paul, I don't want you. I will never want you. And even though you're one of my favorite players in history, if I say no to Steve Nash, you know I'm saying no to you. No, thank you.